Okay, det bara. Firstly, uh, I'm here with Greg, uh, Greg Malan uh, of, of NS Diamond and uh, he of uh, soccer knowledge, knows everything about soccer and NS Diamond, so we're here to pick his brains on the, his earliest memories uh, of soccer within NS Diamond and down through the years. Uh, so I'm going to hand you over now to um, uh, Greg and he's going to probably tell us all about his uh, tribulations and trials as a soccer guru in the town. Yeah. Okay, off we go. Uh, well, right. well, I the first, the first memory yeah. story first. Well, just the football itself. Yeah, yeah. Well, mm. we started in the late 70s. Exactly. In the train and we should go up to the monastery and up to the, the mart. Melon's field over, we should play around there. Street leagues. Yeah. So we kept that up for a while and we decided after a while to try and get a team into the Clare League. Myself and Frankie Garrigue, Don Garrigue, uh, James Gellar. And we started Toy League. Trying to start a street league, you know, and everything went well, so we decided to put in for a, a permit, you know, for a yeah. connection, and we got that. And we done a fund team for the for the team, yeah, yeah. and we've yeah. done a door to door connection between you know, Diamond and Le Hinch. And we made 40, 40 pounds, 50 pounds, we said, right. which was a lot of money that, that time, but time, yeah. From, yeah. from what we were doing, it wasn't a lot of money, you know, right. because team to the team, it, it was 25 pounds. Right. right, okay. And uh, and we had to get the goals. Then you put in that sponsored the goals, the timber goals that time, which there was no nits you that time. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. that was the rest of it. That was know? in the rules. Yeah. There was no nits, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the corner flags, you know, we, yeah. we got those and we. We got going, we started and we played a few friendly matches first with Qualifying and we done well, we won two and we drew two type of thing. Okay. So okay. we decided we start playing away. First year wasn't wasn't this great, is, you know what I mean? This is about 1970. Uh, 70. 70, 77 is around there. First year wasn't great, we lost some, we won some, but the second year we, we started getting yeah, we got a few new heads in. We got Michael Healy. Uh, we got uh, Don Corton, uh, Jerry Reedy, Sammy Davis, Ron Bissell, yeah. Sammy Johnny Reynolds, Johnny Reynolds, yeah, and uh, I met Tommy Lee. Yeah, I did. Yeah, 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 Tommy yeah, yeah. Lee and uh, Pat Davis, right. and there was two lads that worked in the bank that played football when I was there. Joe Joyce and right. Dini Moore. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Stephen Lee and Tom Nestor were younger. Stephen Lee, Tom were yeah. younger, yeah, 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 yeah. But we, we were doing grand and we, we got to the quarter final of the local FEI. Right, yeah. Against St. Michael's. Right. And they bailed us out in a hinge 3-2. Right, and they were one of the better teams at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they were good side at the time. And Mike, um, no, you ran out on this, so he was playing with Michael's. He was at the sign with Cox City oh, right. at the time. So we yeah. were beating that anyway. So we, we played away in the, in the league and we got to the final of the, um, the league. Of the league. We played United. We right. both had the same amount of points and the same amount of goal average and things like that. But we came to a playoff then. We came to a playoff in Lake Hinchins. We had a bit of a problem to see with the pitch because the GA was using it and we were using it. So, right. I, I got on to Joe McCall, Lauren and Saul, and I asked him if there were any games played for that weekend. Yeah. And he told me he'd, he'd call me back and tell me, which he did. Yeah. And he told me to walk away. No games was offered. Right. So, I phoned the Clare League and I told him that. The field is free, we'll, we'll be able to play away, so we got a fix for it. And then the clock gets in the morning. So a few of us went out, Frankie Gary and myself went out to lane the pitch, and it was a GA match on the outer. So 
we said we were at next to the fleet on top pretty cool for six mile bridge and, and he was looking around and he seen what was going on so he said he go up to the beach the wife and himself was that was beautiful day with the kids so he said he'll be back you know so I said, I said that's great yeah so he came back and, and there was another game on. so the game didn't go to the head until three o'clock that day which we won the game to one, the league was taken off us, and we were thrown out the league because we didn't fulfil the fixture. So, so the second year in, uh, that was it. This time and yeah, and the final year then when we applied, we had to apply under a, a new name. Right. We applied a uh, um, Belier. Right. You know, just, uh, just to go back on that, uh, Greg, you were uh, your ma- you were manager, player manager, no, everything, everything, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything. The pitch. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the colour of the shirts and socks, everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 they all got the wrong gear. Yeah. This is the blue, blue tops and yellow shirts and yellow socks. All right, yeah, right. Okay. Everyone got the wrong gear, you know. So right. they had no problem that way. This was a situation of you got to collect the subs on Sunday morning for the rest oh. of the day. And there was no such thing as sponsors or anything. No. That's it. <laughs> everyone had, had to sponsor themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But everyone enjoyed it. And really, you know. The other clubs around then, you had Corofin. You, you, you had Corofin and, and you had. Uh, but they were, only, they were in the first division now. Yeah. So I, I think. Uh, what you call them? Killaloo. Killaloo, alright. Killaloo. Alright, yeah. And. Uh, Helmets was in the B team. Oh, yeah. 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 Helmets was in the B team. And, and Cockley had a B team. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. You know? Right, so. And we, the funny thing about it, when we, when we started out in Belly Air Pitch, out there where uh, Brian Barry has a house. Right, yeah, yeah. That was Brian place. was a man that gave us the pitch. Right. He had a, we used to call it Main Road. Oh, because oh, yes. it was on the. <laughs> And you had the Man City jersey. On the main road, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it was there. And we never won a bloody game there. No. We did first half, two little, two one, and we were always beaten. Right. But we won all the way games. Oh, that was, <laughs> that's the funny thing about it, you yeah. know? So this is now, is, uh, so the following year then, we're with Ballier United yeah, in the yeah, league. Yeah. And pretty much the same players, or did you have any new players come along? No, most the same, same players, players, yeah, yeah, yeah. Players. It's the same players. And, uh, and so you're a Ballier United then, how many, what sort of time frame did we have for Ballier then? Uh, for two years I think it was most, you know, and, and that started to leave then, you know, and right. so he started throwing up, and the money was getting, yeah, yeah, it's, you know, it's, things were getting harder that day, uh, and he couldn't, you know, and, and so. We packed up in England, so I, 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 I took up refereeing then. Right, okay. I was refereeing then for a few years. Yeah, right, yeah. But during that thing, I, I didn't give up the soccer. We yeah. started a, a tournament. Right, right. We started uh, during the family festival. Oh, okay. We had a soccer tournament every, every year it was on. Where did that take place then? Well, the first tournament took place in, in the marquee. Oh, indoor soccer. In the in, indoor soccer in, in, in the Marquis. It, it was excellent. And where was the Marquis set up? That was set up up by, uh, you know where Kevin Crowe is? Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was set up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. We had it, which it was very awkward, no? but just to keep it going, yeah. the following year, then we played it, for the year after that, then we played in the monastery. Yeah. Oh, right. And everyone enjoyed it. And that would be um, a bit like the street leagues. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's all sort of events time. Yes, like just for the we, we went in a Friday night, Saturday and Sunday the final. Excellent. And I, I used to do them all myself. I used right. to free them all myself. Yeah. The same as a, as a community centre. And I suppose all the young lads coming up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And when we started in, in, in the community centre, we started in uh, the 27th of December, the 28th and the 29th. Started every year. Five or five leagues. 
Faz o que o Chuí, ó. Eu já disse que quando não havia uma pessoa, já não se perdeu de ele. E o Robert é assim. Então, depois de tudo, nós não sofremos muito na área. No, until, until uh, yeah, Simon said it, yeah, and that was, I think that was Kevin Connors or the other, the two sides of the, yeah, 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 yeah. No, but so then, if we go back then to when you came here first, what, what, what was that sound like when you came here first? Um, it was not much. Not yeah, for the, the young lads on either football, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but the, we used to, like I said, we used to go up to the monastery yard yeah. Yeah. in the evening stream. Right. You know, and that's, that was it. That was it. Yeah, and then you. Um, I'd start up some street leagues. So we start the street leagues, I need two trophies I had obviously give them out and just just to keep them happy. Yeah. Happy. You know? Yeah. Malone's field over there, even matter of fact there's still a, a, a there's a patch over there between the, the shop and Yes the, and the, Melody's house. Yeah. Melody's house from the other side I can know. Right. right. Just so. a big patch there. If you're out there, the body knows. Well, there were many rods kicking to the river every now and again. No, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> they weren't able to hit it out. No, yeah, no. Yeah. Um, so, oh, and then, um, when it, your own family was the Stephen Sapper. Yeah, it was. It was the GA too, so they were the GA. Like I said, I. I'm not a GM, you know. No. I watch it and I watch the whole thing of that. But I wouldn't stop them from playing GA. If they want to play GA, they must. Yeah. You yeah. oh, know what I mean? But I, I know when we started, we had a hard time. Especially when we're doing the door to door collection. Yeah. They'd always stand in our face a few times. Yeah. You know, which. We didn't want any, any foreign games coming here. So. No. no, no, we were out in Alfred now, you know, we didn't, uh, huh? it, was, it was pretty much the same in Alfred, you, were, yeah. you know, you couldn't play, you couldn't play on Saturday, um, it was a match on Sunday or anything like that, so that was all part of it. Well, even a few of the young lads that were playing us, they, if they were going to play soccer, yeah. they wouldn't be left, yeah. you know what I mean? The, ah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, just a sneak out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, as regards to John and James playing yeah. and they had all played with underage clubs here. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose for the mm. start of Colour Fame and all that. Ones who played with uh, Cocky. Yeah, all that, yeah. No, but they played with Gifford. Yeah. You know, yeah. and they played with Moher and the same. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Gifford, that's right, yeah. Yeah. And, um, Great. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just that I was getting to hear. Which one? Rolls for me. It's a fantastic tour. And I think for anybody in soccer, I mean, Kale, especially in North Kale, it seems to be a fall to every year. Yeah. And I know it's, you know, it's obviously a well, the first year was hard. The first year was very yeah, hard. hard. You know, but the second year, was, but every year was hard. But you yeah. still know, yeah. which is over, it's it's, but you're still looking forward. Yes, it's you know, post, like I said, it's, 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 it's no sooner over. Yeah. Come January, I start. Yeah. I start going down the road and getting things trophies and getting things done, and because it does take a while. Yeah. You know, it's hard to organize so I think anybody that attends it, yeah. and I've heard it from a lot of the clubs, yeah. they so look forward to coming back every year. You know, and the, it's down to the family. The and the, so the, nice they all, and the they all chip in, you, yeah. you know, they all pay for this, and most of them pay for that, and you know, yeah. 
Mm. We pay for it ourselves. Like the trophies are just. We pay for it ourselves. Fantastic. Really, you know, although it was offered. Yeah. yeah sponsorship. Yeah. But I said no. I prefer to. Yeah. Do it. No. People did offer no. Yeah. Came down to do you know because. Yeah. No, but I said no. We just keep it all separately. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure we hope to get one. Get a run off this year. I know. It's well, hopefully, anyway. Well, like like I said, I was aiming for October weekend because I, I know yeah. August weekend it, yeah. it's a bit too near. Yeah. No, I think with a lot of the way the leagues are. Yeah. 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 And you see, like I said, the place might be open about Beavers. Oh, correct. Yeah. yeah. You know. You have to wait yeah. for all these. Because uh, everything else is on, on order, type thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, what I'd like to know is the, the Ballyhay team obviously was the, or the Einstein and United team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just give us a, a, a start in 11, let's say, on a Sunday morning. You have to, you have to name them all. Yeah, I can't remember any of them. You know, I, I know. Michael Healy, Michael Healy has been going for us. Tommy Lee, I've been going. With. We had Paul Sandy Lawrence and so on. Frankie Gary, yeah. Don Gary from Nehinch. Yeah. We had uh, Johnny Evans. Uh, what you call him? Jerry Reedy. Jerry Reedy. Jerry, and we had uh, Pat Davis. And uh, who else did we? Don. Quite often, mm-hmm. famous too, yeah. yeah. And Colin Hayes. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. 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 Colin, we had a big a bunch of legs, you know what I mean? Yeah, you have a short And fair trade to them because, we, yeah. you know, they turn up every week. Yeah. You know? I'm sure. And they turn up and there was no, and it, it wouldn't play and it wouldn't play. There'd be no yeah. cribs or anything right. like, yeah. like yeah. that, you know? And uh, what about the game Say when Ireland were doing well, was that any was that sort of sense of uh, you know soccer done the up in the understanding in the city of the game there? Do you know? Oh yes, oh yes, yeah. Well, uh, we Holland or whatever you call it, stuff that him. Do you remember the Ole Ole or whatever you call it? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that type of thing. That's yeah. that's what brought everyone to yeah, 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 you know, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, yeah, song, yeah. Like, you know, I mean, because everyone was singing it. Everyone was singing it, yeah. <laughs> you know, singing but, singing uh, yeah. even the youngsters of the street were singing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, can you, that was, uh, that's great, that was, because we'd like that. And then uh, um, Ballier United, as you say. It wasn't, the, I tell you, it, it wasn't a great pitch, really. And, no. And how it was passed. <laughs> I do not know what's going on. I played in terms of playing now. He played in terms of playing. This was desperate. This was desperate. There was a big stream going on. Yeah. Yeah. And the touchline was there. The stream was there. So. And anyone fit in? It was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Quite. No, but how? How just passed that? Right. Right. And. But fair pair to Brian. Very, very, yeah. Brian even played for us. <laughs> Brian even played. Yeah. Uh, referees at the time, what was Paddy Dunn? Paddy Dunn and uh, Carl O'Neill. Yeah. Noel Bennett was there. Right. Uh, uh, what's his name? Noel Hassan. No, 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 Peggy Coney, you were saying about Peggy Coney. Tony McInerney, yeah, I said Tony was a staffman and, yeah. and we had uh, Reggie McMahon. Oh. You know Reggie? No, no. Who's the guy that goes on with the, the traffic one? Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, she's a free. Oh, yeah. 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 Huh? I was, I was, I was, I think he's from my own area. Oh, yeah. No, no matter, because I, when I was going around refereeing, uh, Peggy Dennis, I was missing, so Peggy used to drive me around because yeah. I didn't have a car and I didn't drive. Yeah. And I played Peggy on my own. I, I think the max fee is that thing was only six or seven pounds. Oh, oh. And, 
I could be doing the game in go to the in the morning. Right. And after dinner, they bring me all the way down to Betty Casey. Right. Right. And Roger, he'd be a referee in, in my market or in it. And he was even no, I used to yeah. get there. That. That's the way. But yeah. just you do it, oh, just, yeah. just to keep it going. That's it. Yeah. yeah. You know, okay. and you, and you take the abuse too. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you said, huh? And the clubs then, the big clubs at that time. I well, I think uh, Michael said broke up that time. I think Michael said uh, you. You had then you had two factory teams too that time playing. Right. You had Studio Iowa, right. Angles as they call it. You know that as you turn down by Guineas. Right. There's a turn up to the shop up to the houses that time. Oh yes, yeah. Yeah. There was a factory up here that used to do glasses. Right. Yeah. yeah. Studio Iowa yeah. they were called. Uh-huh. And they had their own pitch. Yeah. They had their own pitch. And the other factory then was Garrison Factory. That was down where Shanahan has the painting place. Right. There was a factory many years ago. And they used to think of a game. And, and Bradens. Bradens. Did you Bradens there? Yeah, Bradens. Bradens. Uh-huh. The Harvard store. Yeah. They had a the game in like years ago, yeah. And what did you have Avenue or no? Avenue, no, no. no, no. Different. Lifford, yeah. Lifford, you had Clarkley, you had Lifford, Clarkley, it was there. You had Hermitage. And you had Turnpike. Oh, Turnpike, yeah. Yeah. And you would have been here, obviously, had your new market. You had, you had uh, quite a few from the certain this side. You had no market in, and you had Bridge United, yeah. uh, Six Mile Bridge. Right or what you call it, or Bridge. Bridge. Oh, oh, yes. Bridge. You had Newton. Oh, yes. You had Newton A and B. Right. You had uh, you had uh, Park Rangers. Do you remember Park Rangers? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, they moved into Limited. That's right. You had Park Rangers and you had Shannon Town and you had uh, Shannon Diamonds. The and Diamond Factory. West Clare and you had you had Kilo and you had a team from Kilkee. Yeah. 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 And you had uh Kil uh you had you had a Kilo Rangers or something. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was called. That's it. Yeah, Kilo Rangers. And you had I think you had a team from Cool Clear. Yeah, some parts of it. Yeah. Who was your strikers on the Well, I used to be up front oh, most of the time. That, that, that. I, my second, Tommy Lee. Yeah. Yeah, my second, Tommy used to be up front. Yeah. We, should, we should take Tom as well. We didn't have a great choice now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. We didn't have a great choice now. Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic to hear about what like, uh, was around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any funny stories, Greg? Huh? Any funny stories? Yeah, nothing, nothing really. A couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever travel? Did you ever ride without the kit or. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Or, or ride without players? Yeah, something like that. I'm trying to think of you. Yeah, they did that time. They did games, but they played that time. I think so. Was it all something warm? And, I remember, yeah, as you mentioned, 21, I remember uh, we were playing down in, down in Kilkee, and we were, I think we were playing Kilkee in, in some cup, don't ask me what the name of the cup is, but the first car came out, you know, yeah. and there was five or six in the car, and I was saying it the other four cars. And uh, the referee was going to call him the game off anyway. No one being the freeness. And uh, 
Got a cat in the bed, so we ended up with eight, nine. So we were still shocked. But as you know, you can play. So there was a car, they took the long turn and went off. I don't know where they went off anyway, but uh, we, were, we were one year down after five minutes. So we started to get our legs together. So we, we scored maybe one all. So the other boys came. They talked about us. Barman, Barman two anyway. So he told me to come on, and we scored. That made it two one. So everything was going grand. And next to two guys, they came on, gave away two penalties. <laughs> we we were getting beat three two. <laughs> and after the game, we told him, "Why did you stay with yeah. one?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of yeah. coming back. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that can happen. Yeah. You know. Could you give us uh, um, some of the names of, of the players who would have played that time, which is uh, for Ennis Island United? Uh, yeah, I can name them all. Mikey Healy was playing. Uh, Colin Hayes, Donald Curtin, Frankie Gary, Donald Gary, myself, Green Man, Tommy V, Johnny Reynolds. Uh, Joe Vaughan, uh, Jimmy Davis, Sammy, rest in peace, uh, Joe Joyce, Dini Moore, Pat Davis, and John Ford. So, Greg, that's the that's the Ennis Diamond United team. But uh, when you moved out then to uh, Main Road, yeah, as you called it, as you called it, yeah, in Ballyhea, Ballyhea United, you, you have. A couple of extra players, or pretty much the same. Yeah, we pretty much the same thing. About one or two, we said like uh, Graham Barry and Tony Torby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a few extra. Yeah, so it's much the same team, the same. you know. Yeah. Was it a different name? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. So yes. And um, and Barry, then we've gone through Barry. How they got on with the in the league? Or... Like I said, we didn't win a home game. Yeah, right. <laughs> we lost away games, so, but. Yeah. Yeah. I think they only last about a season or two, you know yeah. what I mean, because right. things started to got too expensive, you know? Yeah, yeah. And people were losing jobs and, yeah, you yeah. know, it was a tough time there, was, there was a lot of tough times yeah. at that time, you know? And, uh, and there was a lot of good things, and even Tony Torpy, you know, he was he was team too. Yeah, he was a good footballer. Um, and then with the, uh, you started up then the, the street leagues then, the, the teams from well, all over. Mostly the, the family festival type thing, you know, yeah. yeah. That was left open to everyone. Yeah. And so, the teams from the Scanner, Colour Finn, Innes, we met the Tech Ready team, got the columns as the few juniors. You know? <laughs> and we went off, went off for three nights. You know? And um, the festival had obviously had music as well, oh, I suppose. Yeah, it, music and uh, everything like that, you know, and uh, what what money we collected, yeah. we bought the sources. Yeah. And anything we left over, we give it to the, the community centre. Oh, right. yeah. it's, it's the same when we started the, the tournament in the community centre. Yeah. Yeah. We collected the money, by the sources, anything we left over, we and you over to the yeah. centre. So there was no, no one making no, no, that's, big that's fantastic. money out, you know? Like, um, you know? Uh, it sort of gives us an insight yeah. into how things work. And, and like I said, uh, th things were hard, you know? Yeah. Especially in coming to a place that yeah. didn't know much about playing soccer. Yeah, you came here you in know? the 60s. Yeah. I came here in the 60, 65 or something, 67, whatever it is. Yeah. And you would have played then with teams in Ennis, I suppose. I was with uh, Lifford and Michaels, and then the last team I played with them was Cora Finn. Right. Which, yeah, Kinney was over at the time. Right. You know, he was a shop down there in Cora Finn. Well, he used to have a shop, I don't know. 
I'll see you. But I actually have a ghost from away. You know? Yeah. That's great, great. And then I took up the the frame. So yeah, the piece. That was that was it. And so we're still we still trying to do a piece. Yeah. yeah. Can't play without them. No, no, it's, it's just like the old tournament. If you change, you have to change. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. You know? No, it's like. If you play to the English teams, they'll. Oh, yeah. They'll open the road. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, that's, that's fantastic job. And the local teams, you know? Yeah. You wouldn't have it only for them. You wouldn't have it only for them. You know? Yeah, and from what I hear, everyone in, in joins it, everything, you know? Yeah. Everyone be looking for the repeat. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> huh? like the league is probably out of reach for a lot of clubs. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. And it, it starts to, it starts the ball to ball off for the league too. Yeah, yeah. They just be, be looking forward to playing games. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, that's, uh, that's very true. So, like I did, like I said, once we're around. We'll keep you going and oh, whatever happens so after that. Pass it on, yeah. pass the baton on to somebody else and hopefully they, you know. If they keep you going. Keep it going, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Well, Greg, thanks very much now. Thank you, Eddie. It's been, uh, it's been a pleasure. And, uh, Eddie, thank chat. you. Huh? Pleasure having a chat and uh, nice talking to you. Nice to get the history <laughs> of the world. Huh? Yeah.